What's happening, guys? So I am unfortunately, good and bad, I guess both, selling the Warthog, my 2015 Ram Cummins um, 2500. So I figured before I get rid of it, um, might as well do a walk around since everybody asked me for one and I kind of always wanted to do one. So we'll do a quick walk around. Here's the truck. So I guess we start at the business end. Um, it has a worn Xeon 12S, a platinum. So it has the uh, Bluetooth wireless um, remote that comes with it. And it's mounted to the worn Ascent bumper. Um, the lights aren't anything special. They're just generic lights um, that I'm running on here. And they, they serve a decent purpose. They're not bad, but they're not like a high-end build. Same with the lights on top. I'm running four of those. Um, they're not the greatest in the world, um, but they've done the trick so far. Um, I was going to put some KC Pro 6s on there, but I'm saving those for my new build, which is a Raptor. Method NV305 17-inch by 9 and they're on Yokohama Geolander MTG 003s, which have been absolutely amazing. I will probably always run these. And they're a uh, 37 by 12 and a half, which is the only way to go on these things. Unless you're Mike Key, then he's gonna say that you uh, have to go 39. I'm running Fox 2.0 shocks. And then the front's level, that's just a cheaper level, as you can see here. I was gonna go Thurin, but ran out of time and money. Um, so I'm gonna go with a different build um, for different purposes. I'm running the Rhino Backbone system, which is awesome, I love it. It's uh, been a great system. Um, holds everything that I've needed it to. The tent weighs uh, 196 pounds. Um, it's all mounted to my snug top outback, which, uh, Snug Top Outback has been badass, man. I love this thing. Um, this is <laughs> one of the most sad things I'm getting rid of because I, I haven't even had it. I think I've had it a year now. But uh, yeah, it's it's been cool. It's a reinforced top, which is cool. It's got the fishing rod holders in here, which we've used the hell out of. Um, and then the reinforced top uh, comes in the Sportsman's package. Uh, same with the uh, these right up here come with the Sportsman's package. And uh, it allows you to uh, mount the tent on top. But you can see in the tent, the Camp King Industries by Sloop. So that's by Sloop, in, uh, Sloop Imports, Peter Sloop. Cool dude. Um, it's all high-end stuff, man. Um, we're gonna crawl up there here in just a little bit. Um, sorry, I'm uh, emptying all my stuff out because the new owner takes delivery of this tomorrow at 2.30. Snowmaster fridge on the bed slide. I will forever own a bed slide. They are the shit. Um, and then on the fridge, we've got the mounted uh, 12 volt mate, which is a little low right now. I need to, um, I haven't uh, driven the truck much. So, and excuse the wires, I've undone a bunch of stuff to get ready to let go of the ownership of the truck. But yeah, the bed slide, everything's been just, just badass. This, oh boy, this is a must have. Holy shit. Snowmasters are awesome. I'll never have a cooler. I mean, I will for certain things, they have their place. But uh, there's nothing like having an ice cold beer or uh, an ice cream sandwich in the other compartment. They're badass. So I'll take you to the back. One of my favorite parts of the truck. So true. So um, back here, this is also worn. The worn ascent. My favorite part about this worn ascent are these steps. They come in so handy. Holy shit. Let me tell you. Okay, a couple more things. We got the Rhino Rack Bat Wing. I'm not gonna pull it out, but I've used that. Uh, I think I've used that thing in six different states now. Love it. Love it. 
Um, this setup's dope too. As you can see, my shovels get used, they get stuck. I'm not afraid to mention that. Um, it's, uh, that's been a lifesaver for us. And then it's mounted. That's mounted up to a lock, a Rhino Rack lock system. Back seats here, nothing special. Got the kids set up back here right now. My son sits on this side and then Ellis, my daughter's over there. Um, and then I have a bunch of stuff taken out of it here, which is like the, I have the worn tool rolls that go on each side. Um, and this, this is cool too. This is where I put all, most of my recovery gear. These are cool boxes here. And then the drop down steps, these are best top. We've had a love hate relationship with these. But they run on a wireless system. These right here, um, you'll see they mount up. And then back here, you'll see that's the magnet. And it goes, once it gets close to the sensor right here, then it knows how to how to shut off. It takes about four seconds and then they roll back up. But, uh, yeah, they get a little loud. They need, uh, they need lubed up a little. So in here, where the magic happens. Um, so this is all uh, Mopar catskin leather. Um, so it's an upgrade. Um, this is kind of a weird, um, the way this thing was ordered, it's a outdoorsman that was ordered, but ha or, sorry, it's a, it's, it's a weird bastard child of, of a build from the factory. Um, and I've never seen it and I've worked for Dodge for many years, but it's basically a big horn but it has some outdoorsman packages. So it also kind of comes up as an outdoorsman, but with the leather, and then it has all the auxiliary switches, like an outdoorsman package, um, trailer brakes, uh, and then like the exhaust brake, all that good stuff. Four wheel drive, obviously, but um, it's kind of a cool setup. I've enjoyed it. Um, I wish I had dual air, it was about the only thing in here that I wish I had. Uh, got my sweet COVID mask. It really doesn't work that well. But uh, oh, new owner's getting a Brotherhood of Brewsticker. I'll leave it in there, what the hell. Um, it's got some cool features in here. Obviously, I've added the ram mount, which he's going to get. And I have that mounted down here to this, this space, which is, I don't know what's there. Um, I think that's uh, like dual air shit set up. I, I have no clue. I, I'm not sure because there's, you know, there's things missing here too. Um, then I mounted another one up here. That's usually where I put my cameras and stuff. That's where this used to go before I mounted this. But I added that one. You can add whatever. Um, this is one of my favorite gadgets, the S-Pod. This thing is the shit. And of course, it's going to do that frame rate, makes it all wig out. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can turn on, you can see out there on the fence. Um, turns on all my lights. And we got the oh hell yeah button, which turned them all on. So when I had my light in a rack based on this thing, uh, it would turn absolutely every light on, which was fun. I'm going to miss that, but I will have that in my next one uh, for sure. Because I got K, we, we hopped on board with Casey Lights for Rogue Element and, and uh, some Brotherhood of Brew stuff. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be legit, man. So sad to see it go, but it's going to a good home. He's a beer guy, works for a beer company. So I'm, uh, I got pretty uh, pretty lucky with that. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll do one more thing. Let's go up and I'll show you guys this tent that everybody wants to know about. And I'll tell you about the ladder thing too, which is kind of funny because my truck's so goddamn big. But anyway, it's a little dirty. I got to clean it out before I take it off and stow it away. But this is it. This is the Camp King Industries. This is their first gen. I know they've made some improvements on it, so I'm, and I'm jealous about that. Um, but this right here, it's a, uh, it's about a, what, a three inch, four inch mattress, four inch, if I'm talking to the ladies, uh, dad joke. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Oh shit. Valve stems. There we go. Cool. Score. Anyways, so for, uh, it's a memory foam mattress. This thing is so comfortable. Um, over there, you'll see they've got the 12 volt setup. There's a USB on the right side, 12 volt on the other side for like your cigarette lighter stuff light up top and that's this is all run down to that 12 volt mate below and uh yeah so i can get in here i only thing i wish they had and i'm gonna probably reroute it to turn on that light you got to get in and get all the way up there so i think i'm going to take that and i'm going to run the wires down somewhere to where i can put it down here or something where i can just click it on when i get in so i can see what the hell i'm doing but i usually have a little you know lamp with me or something that i can throw up in here it illuminates it when i'm getting up uh, especially if i've had a little bit to drink because it's a long ways up here so um you know if you've seen some of the videos that we put out i usually velcro 
up the uh, iPad and put it up there if we want to watch a little video. It's pretty cool. And this right here, sweet craftsmanship of some spare wood that I had, but it has worked flawlessly. It's been so good. Um, that's about how short this ladder was um, when I added it, because uh, when I had the lightning rack on here, it was more flush with the front. And we moved the we moved the tent backwards, and now you'll see it's kind of more forward, so it's it's more even with the back, um, and I and more you know my center of gravity is better, but because of this setup, I'm taller by six inches almost. So um, I had to add that. Um, they did send me a nine foot ladder. Um, it needed I need to there's hooks on that where the hooks come up to. It wasn't didn't support my big ass. Uh, I think it's rated to 300 pounds, but they gave out, so I had some new ones made. I just haven't installed them yet, but. Um, yeah, no need for that anymore. I'm not going to be this tall anymore, but new Raptor has 37s on it, which I'm stoked, but it still isn't this tall. Um, this tent will be going on my Scout build. I have a 79 Scout 2 I'm building, and it's going to be perfect on top of a red Scout 2. So anyways, here's the truck. Going to miss it.